The Trump administration says North Korea's claim that the U.S. has declared war is absurd and that it's still seeking a peaceful resolution of the tensions. North Korea's foreign minister had said President Trump's harsh words gave it the right to shoot down American planes. Connie Kim has the latest on Pyongyang and Washington's War of Words. The verbal exchange between the U.S. and North Korea has reached a new high with North Korea's foreign minister accusing U.S. President Donald Trump of declaring war on the regime during a rare press conference in New York on Monday local time. Trump ultimately declared war on us last weekend by claiming again that our leadership won't be around much longer. Given that this comes from an incumbent American president, this is clearly a declaration of war. Lee Yong hos statement took aim at Trump's tweet message that came following his speech at the UN. The North Korean diplomat also warned of taking countermeasures coming on the heels of Washington's disclosure that its B-1B bombers flew just off North Korea's coast. Since the U.S. has clearly declared war on us, we have every right to take countermeasures. That includes the right to shoot down their strategic bombers at a time of our discretion, even if they're not in our airspace. We will see 